Mm, hello. We are back. More lightning returns. Uh, we're getting very close to the end. <laughs> uh, we're on the last major mission. Or, uh, I guess, soul to save. Yeah, I think we're saving Fang's soul next. Again, she's looking for a way to save, of course, her friend Vanille. Uh, let me see something actually. So Mog was alive, at and he's been living together with the other Moogles. <laughs> I'm really happy for him. Nice. Uh, they spent EP to buy like special items. Mega remedy. We approach him. Be ready. Oh yeah. Prevent KO once. Honestly, I should probably just buy one or some of these. I don't think there's going to be another item from the, uh, the side quest I'm doing. <laughs> that, uh, the person keeps giving us potions. Right, let's see. Do I need to do anything else in Luxurian? I think I'm done there. Let me just look at the side quest list. So I definitely need to go to uh, Ustan. To finish the one side quest. So yeah, everything's pretty much done. There might be more side quests there, but again, I don't really care about that. Uh, we do have to go back, though, after we finish uh, Fang's thing. Of course, again, we're going to go here to Yustan to finish this one out. Uh, there's a lot of stuff here, but again, I'm not going to worry about it. It's a bunch of, like, fetch stuff. So this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I can go uh, return the lost dog now if I want to. So that's something I can do later. Hey, what's this? Oh yeah. I also need all this stuff there. That's the past. Yep, stuff there. So I actually have enough rocky crag molds for both of these, which is good. I just need the other stuff. I have the apples. I just need... Oh, we're actually good. Yeah, we got everything that one. And so yeah. Uh, last one standing. Oh yeah, I'm not going to finish that one. Revivals. I don't know where this guy is. So, oh, giant sandbox. Oh, I think I actually ran towards there, but I didn't run into him. Mm, but yeah. I was actually disappointed <laughs> because of the reward we get for doing this one. You just get a, another item slot and more EP, I believe. I'm like, eh. <laughs> it's good, but it's not what I was hoping. I was hoping for more stats. Because in stats is the most important thing in this game. I was kind of hoping for a little bit of stats at least, but whatevs. All right, let's go use none. Turn in this quest and then we go to the. I'm trying to think. I need to go to the Dead Dunes. Yeah, I can go to Dead Dunes from Houston, I think. Here till the sun sets. It gets really wild here at night. Time to train 
for tonight. So I tried your latest concoction. It worked well. Better than I was expecting. <laughs> that is most gratifying to hear. And the name was well chosen. Miraculously, the Miracle Nectar works. I have succeeded, but I cannot rest on my laurels. I shall give you another task that is something of a diversion. In science, sometimes you must step off the path of pure research and hack into the jungle of commerce. What are you talking about? A diversion? You're starting to lose me with your metaphors. My research requires expenditures, flasks, buns and burners, liability insurance, etc. I need new revenue streams. You want me to help you make money, is that right? Bluntly put, but in essence, yes. Exactly. I want you to be a spokesperson for my latest product. This is the concoction that you previously tested. I'm rebranding it as the Nectar, Nectar of, the of the Gods. Catchy, don't you think? It's yours for free, and I can even offer a guarantee. What do you want me to do with it exactly? You already know it works, so you don't need me to just test it, do you? I want you to participate in the battle arena. Then, in battle, you must drink the nectar in front of the entire crowd. If all those people see how well it works for you... Then they'll come flocking to buy their own. Exactly. They'll see you drink the potion and think that it will make them as beautiful and powerful as you. <laughs> so oh, dangerous. How they'll be clamoring to give that me definitely their dangerous. Kill. And it's all for the sake of science, right? Science. Science. What do you? Ah, oh, yes. Yes, <laughs> of course. Science and science. That gold bars. Without saying. All right. Uh, we gotta do it. Oh, at the Coliseum. So I can't actually finish this this time around. That's okay. Should add some flair, leave impression on the audience. So we can't do that for a while. Anyways, uh, let's go to the dead dudes. Yeah, I don't think I don't think it actually. Oh, there are new items. It's probably these. Oh, these. Eight hundred strength. Hard to do. So I'll increase the chance of making an enemy recoil upon an attack, and I'll definitely get that. What are these? These shields? Oh, they are shields. Oh, they give strength, too. Again, it's really good if I don't have to worry about defending. I can just, you know, make a certain loadout strictly damage. Oh, uh, so yeah, let's buy both of them. Let's try never to guard in that particular... I <laughs> just spent all my money at once. I think we're spending it all in one place. So much for that. Not a bit though. Uh, I don't think there's anything else to buy. Yeah, I don't need magic since the other two are gonna be. Uh... Oh, thanks a lot. Or I can also. Yeah, put heavy guard on. Um, that's you. <laughs> so that's the only problem. Like, let's see. First is plus eight hundred. It's, it's a lot of defense. I I'll see how it goes. Defense goes way down, but kind of cool. The uh, still matches the outfit. This pure strength build here. Uh, I want to. It's not sufficient. Sacrifice any gill reward after battle, but in turn will increase your chance of receiving items. That'd be good. Do I need gill like that? Maybe. Let's wait to put that on. I still need gill because I just spent all of my gill, but... Yeah. I... Um... 
I can definitely put this on here then. Is this one better? Uh, by how much? By a lot, actually. Let's get this. Maybe we should buy another Renegade. That's pretty good. But for now, let's just do this. I just need magic. Magic's stuff. Oh, uh, one more thing I need to look at. Yeah, kites his weapon real quick. Stag allows lightning to stagger enemies when the stag away reaches 75% of the usual. Okay. So it doesn't necessarily buff staggering. It just buffs the fact that I can stagger earlier. Well, Blitz actually does not have good stagger power. All that. Uh, honestly, I probably don't even need that much strength. Because, you know, the red schemata should be my power. Like, where all my power is coming from. Yellow should be like a quicker staggering uh, thing. ATB recovery, what is this? That's a Shadow Guard 2. So Black Mage. Soul of the Night. Increase the maximum HP by blah 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 blah. blah. Increases the effectiveness of guarding, but not many guard. Defensive strike. Increases magic resistance by 10% and resists. Defense to status endless by 20%. Just imagine when you block long enough. Solo Dragon. Here's a stagger capability by 5%, which might be good. I don't know what Lancet does. That might be something I want to do. Oh, this Soul Ninja is kind of like uh, Edge from FF4. That's pretty good. That flame and flood is kind of meh. Sooner guard. Maybe. Heavy slash into powerful Artemis arrows. I kind of like this dragoon. Uh, and let's just mess around a little bit. Cause I don't need all schematas to be power heavy. Let's see what this does. Uh, does physical damage to a target and restores a small amount of lightning's own HP when it hits. Nice. It's pretty good. It's not really good at staggering, but that's okay. Do I have another? Oh, I do have another heavy slash. Yeah, I don't need strength. I just need a little stagger. Stagger capability? Yeah, maybe heavy slash. Maybe I should... Mm -hmm. Well, that's fine, I'll just leave it at it's lost. Nice chaos uh, sword uh, or chaos revenge matches the Dragoon's armor. Nice. Keep it as it is. It says ATB recovery, which is good because it starts at 50% ATB. Uh, what we got here? Do I want to keep Aurora? I think so, because we're in the desert. Should I change the color of the dress? Why not? Let's go. I do like that purple. Let me just. If I wanted to match the succubus claw. I guess it does. Yeah, it does. I'll just do this color. I love the mask. Golden mask to match the shield, maybe? No, black. Black. Yeah. Alright, let's run with this build, I suppose. I feel like I said Spark Strike, I should do, like, attack. I just need damage down the hatch. <laughs> just damage. Blitz is too much. Let me just light slash. So this, again, this is just for attacking as much as possible. Uh, 
That's a big drop in attack, though. Let's not switch that. Alright. Let's rock. That's kind of funny because I wonder if Where can I, buy that dress? <laughs> I wonder if we could have fought all the soldiers to the point where there's no more soldiers. That would have been pretty interesting if that was the case. <laughs> I love all these snide remarks from some of these girls. I don't know where that Jade Hyacomb is. Alright, Dead Dunes. You can't go to Dead Dunes from here. You can't open the gate. Yeah, what if teleporting is better? I'm gonna say sure. I'm gonna teleport. Teleport to Ruffian. I guess it doesn't matter, we can warp. Wherever. We can warp wherever afterwards. It's water. <laughs> Pretty sure uh, Fang will just pop out somewhere. Yep. It's popped in. Uh, let's go appraise some of these items I get. Want me to appraise? Uh, I guess we'll throw away a potion. Oh. Nice. Whoa, that's some... Come back whenever. Bang, let's go. Uh, we want to go to the this one. Let's... I made the dry blood planks actually. Uh, dry blood planks. Oh, the Wait, no. Do I want to do the side quest? Because there's another merchant running around somewhere in the giant sandbox. If I find them, they live in stuff. So I wonder if I could even see him from this far away. With his chest, though. Aw, oh, dang it. Got him. Got him. You made it too easy for me. Too easy. I get the depths. <laughs> no, I'm getting bad at the spacing for some of this. Ooh. 
Oh, this guy found him. This guy found me too. So good. <laughs> so efficient. So efficient. Gil won't do you much good out in the desert. Right. You're well, right, buddy. I've come out here to sell Tobias's wares. Wares. You do know of Tobias's store, don't you? If you're looking for the greatest merchant in the desert, that would be my master Tobias. Not that oh. there are many rivaling businesses out here to challenge him, of course. Wait. But oh, where is Tobias himself? It's a real question. Second, we wrap my eating pain. Oh, high potion now. Don't really need it though. See me anytime. But where's Tobias? <laughs> where's the actual guy? Uh, let's not worry about it. Let's just go there. At the world's entrance. I didn't realize that's where the entrance is actually. Oh god. Got him. Uh, I can leave the time to run a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna try to finish the you know dungeon this day. Yeah, I'm not sure how much more side questing I'll do. Maybe I'll do a little bit side questing. That's a little bit. Get it. Let's not go that way. Might be a chest over here. Oh, no chest over here. <laughs> oh, it's a big boy, though. And it's chilling there. Open up. Well, that's not a. Crash should be guarding <laughs> with that uh, schemata. Oh, hit me too. You're probably staggered from the arrow, uh, <laughs> not by me not blocking. <laughs> right. Hello? So it was you. Open up. I heard that a new recruit had been shaking things up. Guess I should welcome you to the game. Time to let loose, Lightning. God, it's been ages since I've had some fun. Let's make this worth it. Fang, there's one thing I need to know. Why would you want to summon the souls of the dead? What exactly are you planning on doing with the Clavis? Me? I'm not the one who wants the damn thing. I wouldn't even know what to do with it. It's Vanille who needs it. For some reason, when we woke up from the crystal, <laughs> she picked up some strange new ability. 
Now she hears the voices of the dead. She says she can pick up on all the feelings of those souls that are trapped in the chaos. According to her, it's like listening to a thousand different voices all crying out at once. And she's the only one who can hear them. Or something. And that power is exactly why the Order became interested in her. If Anil gets that Holy Clevis, and she uses it, she should be able to call all those souls to her. So the Order plans to gather all the souls of the dead? Why? To save them? Come on, it's me you're talking to. No need to play stupid. You ought to know. You're here under their orders, aren't you? High and mighty savior. I wouldn't assume anything for you. I'm not here for the order. It seems like you don't see eye to eye with them, though. Care to share? I can share. That's a story for later. Come on, we're wasting time we don't have. If the Secutus snatch up the Clavis first, I'd never forgive myself. There's a place I want to check out first. A what? The door. It's got something good behind it. Or I'm not a bandit. I'm what? thinking that maybe a savior can get it open. Let's go see what you can do. I'll let you know when we're there. Don't rush inside like a fool. There's nowhere to rest in the ruins. It's your funeral! She says that, but that's exactly what I'm about to do. We don't got time for anything. Sure, there are shortcuts back up to the surface, but most are sealed. Things right, you know. Ah, but the last one seems to be blocked by some mysterious. So we don't got time. Isn't that what I'm here for? Maybe I can undo those seals too. You had better. Why else do you think? Oh, what are these guys? This guy's crazy. Blood sword, not today. Dead man's teeth. Because I use my head, like noticing that if we open up all those doors, we're inviting the order to walk right in too. Ugh, and most likely will. What's that? Guards cravat. Oh, maybe I should have the. Oh no, it reduces way too much of my strength. Executives live just to get in my way, I swear. I know uh, I bastards. You just have to find the Oh, these Remember doors. The details of each it's time doors. This kind here is what we call a time door. You've got to be careful around these things. It'll open on its own, or close with you inside. All based on the time of day. Even that route that we just came along will be sealed off at a different time of day. Good thing it'll be end up freezing time. The long way around or get sealed in the ruins. Uh, the Dead Dunes Time Doors. Within the ruins of the Dead Dunes, there are certain doors called Time Doors, which automatically swing open or closed each hour. A clock-shaped device at the top of such a door serves as a guide. When it is blue, the door can be passed through. The time displayed indicates how long there is until it locks. When it is red, the door is locked. The time displayed indicates how long until it opens. If you proceed uh, without paying attention to these gates or guides, you might get stuck behind a locked door. Use these timers widely when you plot your course so that you do not waste precious time. Well, luckily, we're just gonna freeze time. Not even worry about a lot of it. Time door stands by. The location of a time door has been registered on the map. What's the other way? Is it locked door? I don't know. Oh, I mean, the Colonel states the same. Those two were bound by something stronger than family. Damn. Your funeral. I off 
for this victory to a dying world. Dying world. If you take them on without any sort of plan, you may find yourself in trouble. Proceed carefully. Oh, <laughs> more than I thought. something them or why for that matter you can't even date them with all your <laughs> so what are you good for hope oops now you know who is stronger hey what's up why aren't you playing 16 <laughs> I wanted to finish this game first I actually have 16. I just I have this thing where I don't like starting something new and have something uncompleted or incompleted. That's kind of my little, I don't know, <laughs> my thing. But I do have 16. I just want to beat this first. So I'll probably play it tomorrow because I'm assuming I'll beat this today. Um, but yes, how are you today? <laughs> yeah, I do have it. So it's not like I didn't want to. I just wanted to finish this first due to my own, I guess, OCD if you want to call it that. <laughs> uh, might as well because there are some frame rate issues. Huh. Really? That's interesting. Uh, so I have to see. I didn't patch it. I just downloaded it. Uh, like, the day of. So that. That's why for the past two days I've slept very late. <laughs> um, the night before I slept at like 5 a.m. playing this actually. And then last night I wasn't playing this but I just couldn't sleep. I was watching a bunch of stand-up <laughs> comedy. Uh, I didn't sleep till like 4 a.m. I don't know. It's just <laughs> very bad of me. Um, Oh, yeah, I'm hoping to finish this today. I'll probably finish the Dead Dunes this stream session right now. Then I'm going to break to go play volleyball. And then I'll come back later tonight and finish this out. And tomorrow... Probably at night, though. Well, I guess it really depends. If I wake up uh, late, because there's no volleyball tomorrow <laughs> as well. If I wake up late, then I'll just stream 16. But if I wake up in time to go to volleyball, I'll just go to volleyball. It's hard to believe that so it's just all dependent ago, on if I am disciplined enough <laughs> to go to sleep. Uh, let's see. It's got re re great reviews though, yeah. Yeah, I didn't play a demo or like look at any like, gameplay footage or anything. Except for like the initial trailer, when it showed like a montage of just random stuff happening. But um... And before we met, yeah, it looked really good, so I'm really... Crystal. Looking forward to playing it. You're looking forward to watching me play it? Nice, nice. Yeah, yeah, I don't know anything about it. I don't know what, like, the gameplay is like, or anything like that. Um, yeah, doms in your legs? Oh, what? Doms? What do you mean by doms? <laughs> uh, so I'm just working the upper body right now. Nice, yes. I know we've talked about me trying to get back into fitness, but I have yet to do that. <laughs> like I should just be doing like, I don't know, regular push-ups and bicep curls, and like squats and stuff at home, but I'm just too lazy. Uh, maybe I'll bring that onto the stream again. I used to have it so you, you guys can redeem <laughs> me to do like quick set of 10 <laughs> reps of just stuff, whatever. Um, but there's really no way of Cause, you know, people can just spam them all, and I'm just sitting here doing a full on workout. <laughs> so I'll have to uh, tweak it so that maybe people can only redeem one thing <laughs> and just designate what they want me to do. Uh, but, um, let's see, which stand up was I watching? I was watching. His name was Nick something. I have to go look. I sent it to one of my friends. 
on Discord. I just could not sleep. It was just so funny. Um, let's see. Uh, name is Nick or Nate, actually. My bad. Nate Jackson. It's so funny. It's, it's that like in your face humor. See. Delayed onset muscle syndrome. That initial workout soreness that is really painful. Oh, I think I might know. It's that swole feeling, isn't it? And you just can't like go any further, even though like you kind of just started. I wonder if that has to do with having too much water weight. Does that do that too? I don't know. I'm not quite sure. We're getting ready to go stand up. Yep. Oh yeah, man. I watched all of Dave Chappelle's <laughs> Netflix specials. I watched probably. I watched like the first two or three of them like three or four times. <laughs> a lot of times I just have it in the background while I, while I work. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I love Dave Chappelle. He's so funny. So yeah, Nate is also kind of of the same, I guess you would call it genre of com comedy slash stand up. I don't know, more like in your face, <laughs> more roasting of things, roasting people. Uh, it's that terrible swole feeling where you can't really move that well. Oh, yeah. I think Dave is the goat though. Yep, he is definitely the best. <laughs> He's so creative with everything. Like, <laughs> and you still know what he's gonna say next. Uh, but yeah, but I think he's not gonna do one for a while, right? Cause I think after the closer, he's like, yeah, I'm not gonna do <laughs> any more for a while because again, people hate him. <laughs> At least you know the, the LGBT community. <laughs> Hate him for his jokes. But there's this guy named Earthquake? Ooh, Earthquake, I never heard of him before. Maybe I will take a peek at some point. Or whatever shows up on my feed. <laughs> I'm pretty sure like, you know, comedy kind of links together on the algorithm. So we'll see. Uh, let me see here. There are trigger doors within the ruins of the Dead Dunes. These trigger doors are marked with a red symbol. You'll be able to open these doors by finding devices marked with the same symbol and activating them. When you find your path blocked by one of these uh, triggered doors, look for a device nearby that shares the same red symbol. Um, oh, it's on Netflix. Oh, wow. Dave Chappelle actually produced it. Hmm. I should also look then. Uh, what's this other guy's name? Uh, Michael Cole, I believe. No. Not Michael. That's from wrestling. <laughs> uh... Uh, Deleon? Deleon Cole? The other one? I've seen. He's really funny too. Yeah, it's just like the way they deliver it. That's what gets me every time. Oh, they kill it. Nice. George Carlin, yes. He's so savage too, yeah. Uh, who's the other guy? There's just so many. Oh, they just materialized in front of me. One second, let me go this way. Because there might be treasure. What? It's not like I'm working what? you to the bone. <laughs> there's something here that'll Okay, okay, I wanted to see if there's treasure this way. These guys might turn live. Oh. Okay. Oh, there's an item there. Yellow skull. I'm pretty sure one of these will come alive. Get the crap out of us. Uh, I didn't like Kevin Hart or Chris Rock at all. They just end up yelling, yeah. I remember there was a time I did like Kevin Hart. That was like six years ago. I did watch his Netflix special though. So it's not bad. It's just not the same. I guess it's more like goofy. They're like goopier. While I like more like real talk, I guess, type of thing. 
but yeah, it's not bad, it's just not exactly the best. Oh, I mean, open this door. It looks like you've reached your destination. There's an unbelievable source of energy radiating from behind that door. Yeah, you don't have to tell me twice. I can feel it from here. You think it's the power you, of the think you'll agree that sense of humor? It seems likely. Kind of like that in like, like Jim Carrey and is because the, the late Robin Williams. Williams. So it wants me to come. Not that he passed away so early. I get it. But, but this door doesn't seem to agree. It's stuck shut. It's stuck shut. Yes, it's protected by a particularly nasty seal. My analyses suggest that the key to undoing this seal is hidden in the murals. The murals. There are three murals within yeah, this room always funny, yeah. describe the true story of the like, he was still, like, Only one not overly goofy. He was definitely goofy, but... I think he just... I think he just did a lot of per impersonations, gate, which was great. <laughs> you watch him now, yeah. I should go back and look at a lot of his older works. Because I only know him, like, mainly Somehow from movies. Not necessarily from stand-ups. Well, the good news is... I know where the murals are. To see them all, you'll have to visit three galleries that are located elsewhere in the ruins. Huh. Well, of course they are. Uh... Alright, so we gotta run around the ruins a little more. It's kind of crazy, just the, the skeletons running around. It's your favorite best set impersonations. I can see that. No blood sword. Oh, he didn't die. Oh, he died. Oh, yeah, Andy Murphy's another funny guy. All these older comics. Oh, the crux. Are you keeping an eye on your surroundings? I'm not keeping my eye on my surroundings. <laughs> that crest marks another seal, but I think you'll be able to break it with your powers and the crux, of course. Uh, let's go inside. All right, you can't break the seal with brute force. Not surprising. Mm, the way he does Jack Nicholson, <laughs> he ends up looking like Jack Nicholson. That's crazy. Then people can put like the deep fake filters on it <laughs> to make them actually look like Jack Nicholson. Good to know if you need to get back to the desert fast. Oh. I don't really want to. Yeah, I'm gonna go back. I'm good. Oh, I'm good. Troubled archaeologist. Oh, it's Bakhti. It's a little machine. Got you some oil, buddy. Oh, thank goodness. It looks like someone who might be of some use has finally shown up. I was beginning to think that the world might end before that would happen. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, stranger. stranger. I am an exploratory rover bot called Bakhti. What is this? An AI? Why are you here? Oh, there are so many things I could tell you, and I would love to. But I'm afraid I'm most dreadfully low on fuel. And so I must ask you to consider my most unworthy plea before any explanations can be given. Jim actually morphs his face. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, remember when he do the, those Ace Ventura films? Yeah. <laughs> like, I always seen scenes from him. I'd actually watch the movies. Like, from start to finish. Because, I don't know, I just... I don't know, I didn't really watch too many movies back then. I can't even say I watch that many right now. But... Let's see. Uh, 
then I'll say I need to talk to a friend about volleyball tonight, making sure. I wonder if they're still going. Robot named Bhakti? <laughs> Wait. Yeah, I'm not quite sure why his name is Bhakti. <laughs> but it's like bot. A bot. Sorry, it's just like a whole essay. Anyways, I tried to lost us. He did a good job with the game based in India. Oh, yeah, that's the one I haven't played actually. That's the one with the two female protagonists. Because I played all the other ones. I haven't played that one. I heard they're going to make another one, aren't they? I forget. Yeah, those games were fun. So I think they kind of like emulated Doom Raider, but made it super comedic <laughs> with uh, Nathan Drake. He's great. Oh, oh. I, can so I already found all this oil. There are more of you. Yes. Yeah, more of you. This bot. This bot is sentient. It seems that robots like that bot were used by the bandits. Yep. Thank you very much. I have no clue, but if they want to make another one, they better make it really worthwhile. I actually forgot how the fourth one ended. So that's supposed to be the last one, right? This is called like the Thief's End. But. Because he's supposed to like stop, uh, you know, exploring and actually settle down <laughs> with his woman. No, but we do get hurt, and then we need rest. I think I charged better than Tomb Raider. Yeah, I think the first and/or second one was good. The third one wasn't that fun to me. I don't know. Maybe it got stale over time. It was supposed to be Nathan's retirement mission. Yeah, I remember. I think. Yeah. Well, now you have a good one. Yeah, eventually I'll probably play the other one, the like Lost Legacy or whatever. Yeah. 
You still like Tomb Raider all that much? Like gameplay wise or just like character? I don't know. I, I enjoyed it. It's just I wouldn't really play it anytime soon. <laughs> Stream Lost Legacy if I can. I guess I'll get it on my... Wait, I think it's on Steam, right? I think they brought it to Steam. Otherwise I guess I could get it on my PS. Unless I did, I just didn't realize I did. I, bu I buy so many games. <laughs> <laughs> I buy so many games I don't remember what I have or don't have. I'm afraid they would have little use for such fuel. They are humans after all. What did you say? I don't think those what? kinds of bots came with conversational functions. I guess someone must have tinkered with it. Uh it's an empty room. Oh no, it's these skeletons that have money. And more oil for some reason. Where are the pilgrims? Pilgrims, crooks. We've been trapped for some time. Now. Oh, what? <laughs> they talk. There's no food or water left. It looks like this is the end for us at last. If you're reading this, I bought ton of games and I've been got a backlog of games I have to finish. Yeah. And give us a I have so many games. <laughs> oh, and one other thing. My PS4 library is pretty expensive. I'm pretty sure I have around 100, maybe less than 100 games. Then my Steam library, it's around 400 to 450 <laughs> games. I guess some of them are like just indie games, but still, <laughs> too many. Way too many. Then, you know, we're here about to play a new release instead of going back and playing all the old games. And even this, I'm playing all these games I've played already. <laughs> <laughs> but I really do enjoy the Final Fantasy series. Mokti. My goodness, everyone looks quite different than I seem to recall. Why have you become so thin? Did the many long years spent in this dry desert air absorb the moisture from your bodies? These people. My friends, they do not seem to be able to start up. If they have broken down, I will need to obtain new parts. Right, things more trying to get to PC gaming as well. Bakti, you can't repair a human like that. They're just gone. Yeah. When humans die, it just never ends. <laughs> they never wake up again. Going to Starfield. Do I know Starfield? Something that sounds familiar. But we are finally Starfield. After so long, I rationed my fuel so carefully. Console. All in an effort to witness the end of the world together. Oh, it looks pretty cool. It's like space friends. exploration. I had no idea that they needed constant like. refueling. <clears throat> they must have thought that I had abandoned them here. I don't think. I know one of my friends is probably they very interested in this game. He loves could to save them. space travel and stuff. I'm sure they were grateful for that. I thank you. Humans are a kind species. I truly did love these human companions of mine. Farewell, my friends. Made by Bethesda. Good old Bethesda. It's just gonna be like the new Skyrim. <laughs> but in space. Bhakti, you were the best friend these people could have hoped for. The light of these souls. They're the proof of how grateful your friends were. We're done here, so let's go back. Talk to this guy. I've been or girl. The desert <laughs> Oops. Long years. Mm, I hope they don't make another fallout with Starfield. By those yeah, they like to... Not necessarily copy and paste, but... Copy and paste. <laughs> I would say a lot of, uh, oh, there's a lot of skeletons here, that's creepy. Probably knock them all down. Pretty sure one of these is gonna wake up. Oh, never mind. Let's take it back. Let's grab this guy. Yeah. The last Fallout I played was four. I think. 500 foes. Got achievement for beating 500 foes. Oh, this one. I knew it. <laughs> I knew one of these was alive. It's the one that's looking the wrong way. Let's see. 
Mm. There's this other game that I'm interested in, it's called Blight. It's a survival, a zombie survival game based in medieval times. Oh. Interesting. You don't really see a lot of those kind of games. Oh, there's so many skeletons. Yeah, that'll be fun. Hacking and slashing. <laughs> Gameplay for it looks very interesting. Hopefully it's not like For Honor. <laughs> Have you ever played For Honor? That was a very weird game. It's like I played the first like hour of it or something. Maybe less. I'm like, this is not what I signed up for. <laughs> I can see the lore to it, but I don't know. Too technical for me, I think. Uh, what's this say? I'm door stands nearby. Oh, this one. Oh, nice. We actually got here just in time. Oh, study of the savage. We got Ferrari on PS Plus. Nice. Yeah, I bought it. I think I have it for a PS4. I think I just bought it when it was on sale for like 15 bucks or something. Pokemon Crux back there. Oh, I just totally missed it. I was in that room I was just in. I'm not paying attention. I don't buy games which I doubt unless they're on PS Plus and they're discontinued. Yeah, because I forget that PS Plus is kind of like the Game Pass thing, right? The Xbox has. And funny enough, you can actually get access to. Game Pass games when you go on PC. Mainly if you have Windows. But I'm pretty sure when you get into a PC game, you're going to do Windows, right? Get a Windows PC. Or what's your plans? Are you going to build your own PC? Yeah, Windows desktop, yeah. So yeah, you can technically get Game Pass as what, 10 a month or something? You get access to all those monthly games. You never stood nice chance. custom PC. Yep, that's the way to go for sure. I don't know what the market is for video cards, but I know that's been a, a problem for the past year or so, a couple of years. I'm trying for a 4090 build. Oh. I think that'd be beefier than my computer. I have like a think equivalent to a 20, like in the 2000 series graphics card. Something like that, I don't remember. 32 gigs of RAM, yep, gotta go high. I think, I don't know if they uncapped the RAM limit. We saw you disappear. I forget if I have 32 or 64 gigs. Eventually we even yeah, more the better for sure. Especially because, you know, just unfortunately Google Chrome and like web browsers in general already use so much CPU for no reason. Like, there's no reason for that. But, it's just the way it is. Ryzen 9? I should have gotten a Ryzen 9. I got a Ryzen 7. I wanted to shave off like a hundred bucks. <laughs> <laughs> but looking back, I should have just dished out that hundred bucks to uh, you know, get the processing power. Yeah, I always go big. <laughs> if, of course, if your budget allows you. I could have did it, but I just did it. Yeah, it's not like the worst thing, but definitely next time I will go all out. Oh wow, snapping this guy. 
Yeah, I think I... I remember... I usually wait like five years at least before making a new build. So yeah, I built this current PC in 2021. And then before that, I hadn't built one since like 2015 or so. You know, I was changing later. Yeah, I'm just lazy. <laughs> I can't even work out. <laughs> Let alone opening up my PC to install another part. <laughs> it's just, you know, like unplug everything and move it around. I don't know. It's just, uh, <laughs> it's just lazy. Laziness is my one of my deadly sins, I guess, that I fall into. In here, don't want to go down. Yeah, just so many. This path is whack. Oh wait, I should go up to there. Why am I here? I want to future-proof your games. Five, seven years. Yeah, I think my computer can pretty much run everything. Maybe not at max, max capacity, especially not when streaming either. But. Yeah, I can definitely run everything, pretty sure. But, then it's just... Oh, this poor cat is about to get slashed. Eh. <laughs> go that way. Alright, let's go to this other place. Oh, this guy. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Downgrade by playing sub 4K games. That's also true. Yeah, you wanna get your money's worth. I unfortunately don't even have a 4K monitor, so that even if I could run 4K games, my monitor's not in 4K, so it kind of defeats the purpose as well. See, so yeah, I didn't upgrade all the way, but I, I upgraded enough, I think. Yeah, I just have 2K monitors or 1080p. I think it's about 2k. It's 1920 by what, 1080 or something? So that's 1080. Oops. <laughs> I forgot everything about computers. Maybe that could be my next actual upgrade is a monitor. Better monitor. So I do have two. I'm running a dual monitor setup, but one of the monitor or sometimes the monitors like flicker. So I wonder if that's the monitors or the PC. But I think it's it might be the PC, I don't know. So yeah, 4K TV for your PS5 and so it's got a HDMI ooh, 2.1 slot. Oh, that'd be nice yet to have 120 frames. That'd be whack. I feel like sometimes the extra frame rate could make people like motion, give them motion sickness. I'm not sure if I'm the case because I haven't really looked at higher than 60 frame games. <laughs> but I hope I'm not. <laughs> I guess this. That would be unfortunate. Like playing it for all my life, and then all of a sudden I just can't anymore because <laughs> the graphics are too crazy. But then I guess I'll just tone it down. 
Now I don't want to sound like I'm complaining, but I don't. Don't get motion sickness. Kind of I like the here. smoothness. What's yeah. The story? I like all the particle effects too. Yeah. How disappointing. Yeah, it's pretty interesting to know that this game is a decade old. Came out in 2011, 2012, 2013. <laughs> I don't remember when this game came out. But it still looks pretty good. Okay, if it's not like so tell me about these super high res. Can we find them in the ruins? No, afraid not. But those hair <laughs> physics though. There are three shrines out here. I feel like Don't know who the game is good when their hair fix is, is good. <laughs> to be honest. Right. Which I has some like great particle effects. I uh, really heard of that game too. I just desert. haven't seen anything. Hey, you think we bandits were just twiddling our thumbs out here? If you want to go back out into the desert to search oh, for yes, the tablets, that game. it'll be quickest to use one of the shortcuts to the surface. Wait, where are we going? You'll need the tablets in order to see the murals. Oh, see. If you want to go back out into the desert to search for the tablets, but I believe. I believe. Uh, gotta go to there. Then chamber focus. Or I can just keep going down. Uh, one thing at a time. Part of me kind of wants to keep exploring down low. I would assume there's gonna be more cactar statues and such. Let's see, PS Plus has some great games to offer. I got so many games when they introduced a new PS5 or PS Plus. The only problem is, I think you have to keep your PS Plus subscription, right? So I'm pretty sure I did get some games on PS Plus, but it deactivated once I stopped buying into PS Plus. <laughs> yeah, I don't really play my PlayStation that much. Badly enough, I haven't even played my PS5 at all, actually. I think I played one game on it, but it was an older game. I think I played Resident Evil 4 on my PS5. I'm just like, <laughs> why would I do that? I don't know. I just felt like it. Are you the one who was oh. rumored to have undone the seal at last? Then perhaps you'll so, yeah. also FF16 is probably my first PS5 game. In the old records, they speak of three shrines of the tablet. Yeah, when I bought it, I bought the uh, Horizon Forbidden West bundle, and I didn't play it. <laughs> so that's another game I want to play. The entrances are in the dry floodlands, Adamus' sands. And yeah, you keep yourself active, but you can always get those games once you react with yourself. Actor, true. Very, very true. Show the way. And yeah, you can uh, just buy a month subscription, can't you? You don't have to buy the whole year, now that I think about it. I'm pretty sure it's kind of like uh, Xbox, and it's like, what, 10 a month? Maybe it's a little less than 10 a month. Maybe it's, or maybe it's more, I don't remember. Brings West is great, loved it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I like it too. I love the first Zero Dawn. Blocked. For getting it for the year, true. It's cheaper. Yeah, it's true. It's just the only problem is if I don't use it, <laughs> that's kind of like a waste. And that's why I stopped. Uh, oops, I don't need that. Yeah, that's why I stopped my subscription. I think it was last year or two years ago. So, yeah, I just really haven't been playing multiplayer games like that. I can't remember what the last multiplayer game I played. It might have been, um, what's that game called? Uh, it's on tip of my tongue. Uh, I don't think it been a second. I'm gonna go down this hallway, actually. Uh, oh, this, I think it's a way out. Brain won't let me remember. <laughs> uh, I just remember it was Wildlands. It was a Tom Clancy game. I was playing with my friend. We were just messing around in that game. Yeah, I don't remember the name of the game. <laughs> I got my subscriptions worth by downloading like three games. I ended up downloading like 20 games. 20 games. 
So many. So wait, can't you play it while you're offline? As long as you have it downloaded? Something. Oh yeah, Ghost Recon. Yes, Ghost Recon. I can't remember the first part of the name. <laughs> but yes, Ghost Recon Wildlands. That was a wacky game. I didn't, we didn't even finish. Well, I didn't finish the main story. I do that so much. What's this? Item duration. Uh, yeah. uh, let me see, actually. Uh, no. Uh, you can play it offline, just can't use multiplayer. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, where are we? I'll make sure not to jump down the down area. Grab this. Up this way. What's over here? It's crazy. I do hear a chest. Hey, it's right here. Curse bear. Rule Healer restores 1% of HP when you use debilitating and debuffing attacks, but your maximum HP goes down. The heck? <laughs> That's a very bad accessory. Why would I want to do that? <laughs> Makes sense. Oh, there's a character right there. Oh, they all fell down. Why? Oh, that door's closed. What? Someone's talking. I don't know where I'm going yet. Just roaming around. Another staircase. Oh, can you show up out of nowhere? There's an enemy that popped up behind me. <laughs> That's a minor jump scare there. Poor kitty. Oops, I didn't want to go up. Oh, I can't get that. It's a dude right there. There's a chest right there. Police. Oh, what? <laughs> I wanted to talk to this guy. Oh, Cactar statue. Thorn of Speed. I think I want that, actually. Golden Chamber. A lot of crocs I'm willing to sell. Come and find me in front of the sediment shops. You recognize me by lantern on my belt. Oh, that was another Cactar over there. Uh, I think I might want this Thorn of Speed. Yeah. Taste. Taste is really good. I'll do it. That was another one of those big boys. Oh, it's the Earth Eater. Kill this guy. <laughs> I love how he just sits there and takes it in the face. 
It's not good. It's starting up bad already. Angry. Ow. All right, I'm playing a little more aggressively on that I shouldn't be. I use a potion. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you threw your life away. Gary. I thought I was going to be able to beat that a little easier, but I forget that. <laughs> My stats are the same. All, I, all is different is we have Bang with us. But even she can't do that much. Oh. I need to heal, so I'm just gonna block everything. Something I can brag about, though. It wasn't heroic at all. It was more like atonement for all we'd done wrong before. No, not even that. All the 
lives that were destroyed. I know Vanille worries about that too. She wants to make up for it, and she believes. You've made it pretty far in, haven't you? Pretty wild. <laughs> How far down we've been. This <laughs> little dude chasing me. Take on my EP. Dawn Gauntlet. Sounds very powerful. Use all my EP though. EP conservation reduces EP use for abilities. Hmm. Maybe not right now, but uh, that's pretty good. Skeleton guys running around. <laughs> so we think you're going. Oh no! Oh whoa! <laughs> Why did all the monsters disappear? Golden scared. Hmm. You have an unusual aura about you. I sense that you have overcome great trials in your life. Terrible trials. I'll take that as a compliment. I'm sorry. My intentions are pure. It's just that I see you must be a formidable warrior. And I am in need of one such. Hmm. Tell me about it. My name is Nolan. I have spent the last few centuries trying to prove a certain theory. There is said to be a beast. A beast with frightful power beyond anything before seen. And I have discovered the secret behind it. I am quite certain now. Its existence is linked to the ending of this world. Fascinating, don't you think? And you want me to fight it, is that it? Indeed. You are as intelligent as I thought. This is my theory. When the balance is tipped, and this world is finally swallowed by the chaos, that is when the beast will attain its true physical form, inspiring fear and despair in all who see it. A monster that only appears when the world ends. Indeed. In the past few days, I've seen a dramatic change in the data. According to my calculations, which are based on my hypothesis, the monster may have already manifested. You have proof it even exists? I know that it has appeared at least once before in this world. I've found records that suggest it appeared 500 years ago. The day that time stopped and the world was broken. The wave of terror as all humanity realized their impending doom surely summoned the beast. So what happened after it appeared? It only achieved physical form for a very brief time. Then it disappeared back to wherever it came from. Because the world didn't end back then? That is my theory. I don't imagine we will be so lucky this time around. All indications are that the world is truly ending this time. The data is clear on that. I want you to prove that my theory is correct. Yes. I want you to find the beast and defeat it for me. 
Why worry about one monster now of all times? There is a corollary to my theory. I believe that this beast comes from outside of this broken dimension. Unlike those of us living here, its body has not been affected by the warping of our time. There is something I wish to test, and I will need a sample of its flesh to do so. So what do you say? Will you hunt down the extra-dimensional beast for the sake of science? Science! Monster flesh. An enemy that is not of this world. Right. I think I can handle that. Oh. So you will help me? I might as well. I'll probably end up having to fight it anyway. I am confident that you will be able to hunt down the beast. Don't forget to collect my samples. Got it. Here is all the research data I have about the beast. I hope it may help. Study of despair. Yeah, I'll do whatever I can. There is not much time left until the end of the world. You know those outfits that these other these bandits have? Kind of remind me of the Albed a little bit from FF10. I'm not sure what this beast is. I wonder if it's the Arrow Knight. This will be some super beast that we can face later on, but I don't know if that's what that is. Not really looking forward to it. I don't necessarily even have to fight it, so... Sparrow. Gun. All these names. <laughs> I know some of it, and a lot of it is just because they're like accessories, like actual accessories. What's this? Degrees ATV cost by 5. Uh, does not work on abilities with an ATV cost of 5 or less. Oh, so this is probably good for like debuffing and buffs. I don't think I have any skills that buff, actually. But yeah. That's definitely good for debuffing moves and such. Probably even guarding, to be honest. But. Do I want to leave this area? I think so. Uh, yeah. Go this way. I'd say this place is huge. Probably try to leave this area. All right. I'm clean. Oh, this might be a way out, like to the outside. Yep. Would be do. I say this is a shortcut out of the ruins. Good to know if you need to get back to the desert fast. Since you went to the trouble of unsealing the door, why don't you follow the path? So curious on <laughs> where else to go. I should really just get out though. Just see where this goes. Uh, oh, okay, this leads to there. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and leave the ruins then. So we had to pick up these stone tablets from outside. Uh, let's see. Oh wow, we actually found all of the cactars. Alright, let's start from the... Let's go to the ruffian. Yeah, I don't know if I'll be able to finish this in the next two hours. I'm hoping so. I should be. Just finish the, this dungeon anyways. According to my investigations, it seems that you... Oh yeah, now I can uh Oh ooh, no. Oh there's new weapons. Uh not really. Well stagger power is pretty good. But the strength of magic is not good. <laughs> Unfortunately. Uh ooh, five thousand HP. So good. Yeah, it's probably good for if I want to build a tanking. What should I call it? Come again. Tank build. Go on, pick them up. Let's 
Let's see what we got. Bull Vanguard. TV recovery, stats elements. It's not bad. Don't I have something like this? Oh, it's D Brave and D Faith. It's actually good against the desert. Uh, Earth Eaters, I mean. Mm, but, nah. <laughs> I guess I can buy it. They're fairly cheap. I feel like getting it for whatever reason. Or using it for whatever reason. At least I haven't. Let's get appraised. Ooh, Platinum one. Come back. Some good stuff. I think I might have enough for. I heard that the warp machine. I think I can buy new items. Wait, what? Oh, the high potions new. I buy it. I think the lizard's tail sell for a pretty good amount. I can buy that shield. Dum du lock. Oh, sorry. It'll be too late to so. Which you Dum du Come again. Make sure you pay for your stuff though. Steal from the leader. There are <laughs> Show your papers. Uh, should they tell us where we can find the things? Nope. Find the tablet to activate the mural. Where is the tablet? Did they tell us, and I just did not pay attention. Could be the case. Let me look at the main quest prompt. Somewhere else in the ruins are strange murals that hold the key to breaking the seal. Lightning has to find them. Murals of the gods. Sometimes need to view the murals. There are three shines of tablets in the desert. Lightning's task is to explore each one, recovering the tablets. But where? Oh. Shrine of the tablet. I guess it's the Shrine of the Tablets. Yeah. Yep, okay. So at least that waypoints for all of them. Let's go to the Grave of the Colossi first. I kind of want to fight more Earth Eaters, just get more EP, but I also hate fighting them at the same time. I'd rather fight the armadillo boys. The tablets that you'll need to see the murals are in the desert. Yeah, that's a blood seal. According to the bandits, there are three shrines in the dead dunes. They should be in the dry floodlands. Oh, it's the last one. So now I'm what? Don't let your guard down. So that should be easy. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. It's like, stop it. I did way too much damage. Nice. I think I'll do that much damage. Oh, does this give more magic? Uh, it does, but it doesn't at the same time. But I think it's fine though, having more HP. At the shrines, they're sealed tight. This crest, it, yeah, yeah, it should open the same way then. <laughs> I'll have to test your theory. Will these seals react to cruxes too? It certainly seems likely that they would. You should be able to find more. It's your funeral. 
What about that bang kill? I'm just gonna heal. That was almost boring. Uh, wonder if I should put on the other shield. It's, it gives me a lot more HP. I think that's okay. Just need a bunch of HP. About twelve thousand. Okay, got it. Let me remind you of a few basics about the desert. First of all, if you're ever lost, go to higher ground. Second, make sure to unseal it. Well, yeah, how yeah. About that? <laughs> I'm this not is even gonna be to the tablet thing you're after. Doesn't seem like anything I'd call a tablet. Maybe they gave it a misleading name on purpose. It'd throw people off the scent if they didn't know what they're after. <laughs> Tricky little buggers. Didn't want to make it easy for us. Third, don't forget that daytime is dangerous. That's when the worst monsters... <sighs> Probably know all this by now, though, huh? Oh, I just froze. I'm like, what am I doing again? hit by whatever this is. Oh, lucky. Lucky. Uh, let me actually go back to the station area so I can... I'm pretty sure I'm going to fight all of these guys. <laughs> and just keep spawning in and getting destroyed. to the station to turn in some of these canvas quests. Pretty sure I have enough for a lot of these now. Don't miss mighty 
savior. <laughs> I mean, dead man's teeth. Oh, dang. I had to kill a lot of these guys. Oh, got this one. Is there any new ones that appeared? Uh, yes, but... Ooh, just enough. Wow. Lucky. Uh, I forgot where the other ones are. Uh, oh, the shrines. That's right. Makes perfect sense. Oh, big! Oh, big boy disappeared. He's like, I'm not supposed to be in here. the names of these things made it easier to tell what they do. Resist slow. I think I knew that, actually. We're definitely fighting some dead man in here. And when we leave, though. Ah, damn. <laughs> Slid right into the mouth. Turned around. There we are. One more tablet found. What do you know? Interesting thing. Interesting that they are like, like, but don't you know like chips, on a mission from digital the chips or something. Then you're playing for the wrong team, sister. We do much better against gods, you and me. <laughs> Here we go. Pretty sure some of these skeletons are gonna be attacking us. Oh damn it. <laughs> you got me. You got me. I'll stab him. There it is. Jesus. <laughs> 
Oh, geez, that did a lot of damage. It's probably the shield. It's not that strong. Go sleep in the chaos. Sleep in the chaos. Oh, I got slow. Uh, which one have I done? This one. I'm very glad I went around and floored out here so I can get all these cactar statues. It's traveling really. Oh my gosh, I did too early. I was traveling a lot quicker. Another yes. tablet in the bag. Now we can see those murals. That's what the man says. Let's head back to the ruins. <laughs> That's the sound of all these statues running into place. Probably. I kind of hate how you have to put your weapon away before you can pick up items on the ground. Yeah, it's still alive. Oh, what? Thought I hit first.
the Chamber of Dust. Not sure if this is the closest one to the murals or not. I think it's a different one, actually. It might be the Norse Gate. Let's see, though. Oh, yeah, everything's different now that the doors are changed. Uh-oh. So just gotta find it. Watch my... Actually, let's wait. This So. Thanks for I wonder if Bane gets any stronger. Depending on where you are in the store, all that chest is available now. Where am I? I'm definitely gonna fight the last one of this pretty soon here. Keep running into it. Stop time. Oh, I got that. Bah, I got it. Bah. <laughs> Great.
That was Earth Eater. Wait, do I have to fight all of these? Okay. <laughs> I thought I had to fight the Earth Eater as well. So, like, dang. That would be a better way of fighting the Earth Eater than what I'm doing. <sighs> Not sure though. Uh, let me look at the best theory. Go feature. Earth Eater. Let's see. Range physical attacks, magic attack, greater. With the wind attributes. <laughs> Not only is physical and magic attacks after the first area, the effect is greater with wind attributes or in the instant following a biting attack. Not only is physical magic against the torso during the first dagger when the enemy is attempting a swallow attack the attack is greater with the wind attributes that's too like too risky uh regardless i can at least switch to wind strike or gale strike instead of frost strike gale strike gale strike do i want 80 strength i don't think i really care it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. It's a little longer fight, so maybe I don't need the haste. Maybe the Enero, actually. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, it might be good to keep this on for the duration of being in this area. Enero. Snaggy. Oh, just realized. Physical magic resistance is plus 15. But coupling it with this is pretty good since the defense is really bad here. Oh, the defense is not even that terrible. Huh. Nice. I can still guard uh, with this. Um, yeah, not. I can't guard or evade everything, though. That's the only problem. Um. Let me just see how this goes. Uh, 25% less is nice, actually. Oh no, I'm dead. I'm not dead. Healing.
Ah, there's the he's looking over here. Say what you do. Okay, it's over. Oh. It's still scary finding these things, but I definitely see it's a lot better <laughs> now that I can use or that I decide to use wind. Wind moves. I definitely need to heal though. And a white strap. Is this fog? Let's use this pain. Fog. Curse. I'm pretty sure there's like a ribbon somewhere. Yeah, there's a ribbon in every Final Fantasy game. I'm right, definitely just gonna sit here and heal. If that, if that counted as a heal. I don't heal by a block. I think this is the way to the mural, is it? Or is this the first? Oh yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely gonna be done with these skeletons pretty soon here. This one yet? Right. I think north where I'm about to go is the final door I need to go to, but I need to look at these murals first. There. Try to remember the route. Don't rely on maps. And don't remember. Call me out, bro. I'm sorry. Mm, my memory's bad.
Go to the Twilight Gallery. What? Oh, there's an item on this one. Impress. After all this, these murals better blow me away, or else I'm gonna have some words for you. Like me. That's how we the dungeon in general. We used to have this old rhyme, you know. Come, pity poor Etro. She was left all alone. Her blood pouring forth in chaos to atone. Queen of nothing, goddess of death. So let her be known. And then Lindsay and his wisdom used the blood that flowed from Etro to give birth to the first humans. Yeah, so we could do his dirty work. Among my people, <laughs> Lindsay was known as a trickster, never trickster. to be trusted. Trickster. So in the end, even our own god was no different. Pulse Luna used us and threw us away all the same. Yeah, I think we've all learned not to trust the gods. <laughs> At least it gave me the chance to meet you all. But then, after hundreds well, these gods are kind of similar to the Greek again. mythology gods, and actually. What? So Vanille can go mad listening to the cries of the using dead. humans the as gods pawns. want to make us pawns, but Vanille and me—we're done playing their games. It needs to stop. Oh. Vanille and Fang—they once supported Cocoon in their crystal sleep frozen forever in time. But why did they awake now, at the end of everything? What purpose could God have in doing such a thing? What sort of plan does he have up his sleeve? Good question, Hope. Good question. That's a piece of a crux, right? What is this? All we get is some rubbish. Really? Rubbish? It's no rubbish. It's the crux to the sacred gate. Or at least one piece of it. All you have to do is gather all the pieces and put them together. So, two more to go, right? Three seems to be our favorite number. <laughs> three murals, three shrines, and now three crux pieces. This is not 13. <laughs> You've got all the tablets, right? Together, we can't lose. Three tap. I see. I see. Oh, I mean, uh, where's the next one? I uh, just gotta go down. We'll find it. Find that one. Ah, oh, what? <laughs> yeah, this guy's. Oh. Ah, oh, so who's this? It's Mandeth. Hey, Mandeth, what's up? Welcome on in. How are you? I saw you were playing more FF16. How was that? Yeah, I'm pushing as fast as possible so I can also. Enjoy me some FF16. Hey, fish, what's up? How's it going? Feels good. I'll be playing more tonight. Nice. Yes, just never ends. <laughs> so you're gonna be in it for the long run. Yeah, I'm trying my best to finish this game. Lightning Returns, Final Fantasy 13. And I played the whole trilogy in the past like month. Just kind of whack. I. I yeah, beat the first one in like three weeks. Second one in like a week and a half. And this is actually like day three of <laughs> playing this one. And yeah, I've been pushing as fast as possible, but I could not finish in time. So we are doing that now. Uh, 
Alright, so staying blind to this game, alright. Sounds good. Hope you have a good one. Thanks for coming in with the raid. Oh, uh, yeah, I definitely uh, suggest everyone play these Final Fantasy games. Mainly for the lore. I know sometimes the gameplay can kind of be repetitive and whatnot, but. Yeah, story wise, usually very intricate. I guess a lot of JRPGs are really good on storylines. Guys coming in, puking in my face. Yeah, I'm in the fourth main story quest dungeon. Pushing through. I'm hoping to finish this before I break to go to volleyball. Then after volleyball, I'll come back and probably well, <laughs> finish out the rest of the game. Uh, I'm not going to 100% it. That takes way too long, of course. I already did that once in my lifetime. I don't really feel a need to do it again, per se, but... Probably does want to do a lot of the extra side quest stuff. But... I just don't think it's in the cards <laughs> anytime soon. Oh yeah, I saw that um, Persona 5, what, Tactics? Coming out pretty soon. That looked pretty interesting. At first I'm like, wait, isn't it kind of a tactical game already? But at the same time, it's uh, not that kind of tactics. You know what I mean? <laughs> Where it's like, you have to position your people and then do certain attacks here and there. So, uh... Oh, it's a big armadillo boy. Oh, I didn't get. There we go. Oh wow, Jesus! <laughs> That's a massive damage. Uh, yeah, added to my wish list, and I didn't even look at what the release date was. I just put on my wish list and be like, <laughs> "I'll get it later at some point." Uh. Oh, really too. I'm supposed to be going to these other murals, but it doesn't. Oh, there's one. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, it doesn't show on my map where these murals are. The whole thing. Examine the last mural. Oh, the way to the last mural is barred. You can see. Uh, which one am I going? It's. Part is a maze because the doors are time locked. These ruins are like our backyard. The lady's very short lost, <laughs> compared to lightning. One of us will show I know lightning's kind of wearing heels a little bit, but still. <laughs> they looking down on that girl. Twenty eight thousand. Yeah, there's achievement for doing all nines in this game, but don't know if I ever get to being strong enough for that. I know all the stores locked, and I just froze time again. All right, all right I'm gonna let time run next time. The chrono station runs out. I just love these skeletons running in, charging headfirst, and that's why they're dead in the first place. You don't charge in on people. You threw your life away. Oh, <laughs> hey, lightning! You enjoying your time in a run? Uh, let's see, where are we? Places. Maze. 
Say just swinging. That's yeah, swinging. Easy rest. Sacrifice any EP after battle, but in returns uh, heals you. Eh. I rather get the EP. At least right now. Maybe at some time, time in the future, I will change my mind on that. Oh, where are we? I don't know where we just went. Oh, that's like backtracking. Yes, yeah, backtracking. Uh, I think we just need to go back and wait for that door to open up. Or oh, there's another down situation right there. Perfect timing. I just love all these. Skeletons running around. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're gonna run out of dead out of these skeleton boys. Pretty soon. Yeah, there's a mechanic in this game where if you fight enough of the enemy, then you actually run out of those enemies. You have to fight their last one variant. Which a lot of times aren't that bad. Like, if you're just not ready or strong enough, then it might be bad. I've been here. I still didn't go in the right place. Oh, there's another one. I didn't realize there was another one. Ow. Ooh. Not sure if I opened that yet. How do I get to where I need to go? Oh. I need to go there. Yeah. There's something up this way, so maybe I'll stop time one more time. It's gonna just laugh at me. Oh. Stop time one more time. Oh. It's the last one, it's pink. So again, here's that last one mechanic. So this is the last one of this type of enemy. Finish. No more of these fur balls. <laughs> Defeated every goblot. <laughs> it's it's a very funny name for those guys. The dream scale, dream dragon scale. Uh, that's kind of like one of the other ones I have. The devil, sort of like the devil quest. Devil quest does ten percent magic and ten percent HP. Where's this guy? Oh, 
I don't really care to be here. Let's go back. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I was trying to swing my sword, but he didn't let me. Oh, it's hella dead. I actually never double stunned it like that, or double staggered it like that. Go ahead and try to get to the other mural area. Hit that switch, but how? Uh, let me see. I just gotta drop down in a different area. Hey, when someone yells through my door, <laughs> and I'm like, "What do you need?" They just don't say anything. Uh, anyways. want to drop down to that one that left side corner one so I need to get to that yeah so I'm gonna get to that left side corner one uh, how do I get there though I don't think I even want the doors to change. So now that I kind of saw the path. this. There's an odd switch within reach when the door closed on me. I was supposed to have to wait here until the door opens. Alright, so I do have to wait. One more. Let me see this way. Oh, there's a switch. Alright. Well, gotta wait. What if that means I have to wait another cycle? I don't think so. I think I can like jump off. This box is coming up. So I don't have to get stuck. Alright, so we just chill here a little bit.
Still gonna wait. At least in-game time goes by pretty fast. Yeah, I think it's a second per minute in-game. Yeah, there's the box. Oh, it's an item and a Pilgrim Crux. Satan's oh, I said Satan's crunchy. <laughs> no satin. Or satin. Satan's crunchy. What am I do with Satan's crunchy? Uh status Elmas resistance. Ooh, that's pretty good. That's kinda like a ribbon, just half a ribbon. I'm pretty sure I can couple that with some other uh Um thingy. Garment. Garb. To kind of recreate the ribbon effect, get a hundred percent. Get out of here. Oh, what? <laughs> I already had the uh, shortcut to spot. Oh, well. I didn't really realize that was the case. Uh, stop time. Honestly, I'm stopping times to uh, just not waste EP gain. Unless we do get some every battle. If it's a little. Well, in this case, it's kind of a lot. It's like half a bar every fight. One of these is definitely alive. Oh, look at that. Take it back. There's a lot of, a lot of statues, though. Yeah, bandits getting beat up over here. <laughs> yeah, that guy's getting, like, whacked. So you're telling me about the fight on B? Oh, it's the last one, I knew it. <laughs> I knew eventually we were about to fight the last guy. Not today. 
He's trying to use bravery. What a bastard. Let's see. I don't know what the second staggered condition is. There it is. Level. I should <laughs> didn't have enough ATP to kill him. <laughs> I have enough ATV to kill him. Go got the five star. I don't remember getting five stars in all these types of fights. Does anything? Ooh, I got silver ones. Silver ones. I can upgrade to the next year bone bracket. Yeah, this does. I uh, probably won't use it though. I just have that feeling. Oh, cracker. Oh yeah. Looks cool though. It's not good enough. Yeah, the, what was it? The Protect Chaser. Uh, makes physical attacks like attack more effective against enemies afflicted by Deprotect, Curse, or Poison. Makes Ruin more effective against enemies afflicted with D Shell. Meh. <laughs> I think this, that's not a damage. 800 damage versus. Yeah, that's hold 250. This even has hard hitter. Yeah. yeah. Good weapon, just not good enough. Unless I had the uh, <laughs> I paid for this show. But if I didn't already save up money to buy the better weapons than already, or the story of the gods, then it would have been better. Or rather, the story of us. It shows how humanity was born from blood spilled by the goddess Etro. But we weren't made to live forever like this. We were put on the world to serve the gods, do their bidding, and then die. But then the chaos broke through and changed the rules. Everything went pear-shaped and suddenly it's like dying became an option. We became immortal. Well, that's how it felt at first. You stopped aging the moment the chaos came, but misfortune and disease could still kill you. And we don't multiply and fill the land anymore. No one's been born in centuries. You know, I always thought that death wasn't the end of us. Like our souls wouldn't disappear with our last breaths. They'd never really die. They'd come back. That's why I was never afraid to die for something I believed in. But now... I don't know. Dying feels like the end of the line. Like there's no hope of being reborn. Our souls will just get lost in the chaos forever. No second chances. I guess that's what Vanille wants to put a stop to. She figures this is her chance to save those lost souls. Right, there's the last one. That's oh, way towards the beginning, actually. Some gear is something moved. It looks to me like another sealed path has been opened. Let's go ahead and check it out. A door opened in the distance, but where? Perhaps near the sacred gate? <laughs> it's funny, that's a kind of mega seem omniscient. I don't know. The souls of the dead. Even though we kind of saw it as the players. <laughs> So it's hard to appreciate what that would feel like. Ugh. Do you think that Vanille is hearing the wishes of the dead? Is she hearing all of their regrets and desires? Right, gotta get out of here. We got the second piece. Let's go find the third. You don't have to tell me. I'm more than ready to get that door open and get the clavis. Get the clavis. And I... <laughs> Again, we kept freezing time. So... Yeah, we pretty much didn't do, or like, we did everything in like, what, three hour span? <laughs> You've got all the tablets, right? 
Go around to each of the galleries. You should be able to see all three murals now. Let's see where this one goes to. Kill the cat. I love how it's Schrodinger. <laughs> or if that's a reference to Big Bang Theory, or that's just... Wait, I think that's its own thing. Schrodinger's cat. I just... I forgot what the whole spiel is about Schrodinger's cat. That's crazy. Yeah, I think as, again, the days go on, uh, it gets to a point where you encounter more than one. One than one of the, uh, like, certain enemies. Because they assume you're stronger, so... But yeah, if I did, if I haven't been slowing down time like this, I definitely would not have been able to do a lot of these in one day. Last two days. Let's <laughs> attack it over the rocks. Let's see. I hear something. But, I guess I'll just get out of here. Uh, I do want to go up. Where up do I want to go? Guess this way? Maybe we should stop fighting things. Just not worry about this cat anymore. Let's just finish this out. Star statue. Yeah, we can teleport to that other cactar statue. Let's get out of here. Uh, probably to the sacred gate. Clavis should be on the other side of that door. Oh, uh. I always dreamed of becoming a bandit. The desert may be nice at night, but the ruins are not. Damn it, the treasure is this worth. Treasure chest is empty. The last mural, huh? And this will give us the key we need to open the sacred gate. And we can finally reach the clevis. Huh? If it isn't the man himself, the Order's idol, Benevelza, god of light. Death defiles the soul. Let salvation purify you. So the dead are unclean, is that what they think? And when Vanille performs the soul song, those bastards are going to make everything neat and tidy again. What do you mean? Don't you know? It's the ceremony that the Order's got planned. It's the reason they want the Holy Clevis. So Vanille can do their dirty work. Thing is, she's the only one who can hear the dead. And the Clavis can draw the souls of the dead. Isn't that how it goes? So, what does the ceremony do? More than just summon the dead, I take it? If you believe the Order, it's all putting the dead to rest and providing a salve for their tortured souls. That was enough for Vanille. Hook, line, and sinker. 
She says that she has to go through with the ceremony. She wants to atone for the past. So it's what Vanille wants, this ceremony. But even knowing that, you have no intention of helping the Order. <laughs> Not in this lifetime. Hey, last piece. Soul song to be performed, a rite that they claim will purify the souls of the dead. If it might save the soul. Right, this should complete the crux. Let's try it on the sacred gate. Come on, the clevis waits. Saints crux. The completed crux should open the sacred gate. You've almost made it to the holy clavis itself. But be careful. The order has mobilized its seculars. They may be on your heels. We'll see what happens. I don't even know what the boss is open, coming up. We'll be face to face with the clavis at last. And who knows what else? I wouldn't be letting your guard down just yet. <laughs> like I need reminding. How long do you think I've been out here in the desert? I'm picking up a huge energy source from within the sacred gate. It's just like Fang said. The save. Let's see if we got a fight on our hands. You. It's close. It it's may close. have further protections, though. Be careful out there, light. <laughs> it's like a gagamog or something. Big old demon. We finally made it. Is anything else yeah. in here? We've gone and done it. No way to go but forward now. What's wrong? Nothing. Let's do this. I think I should be okay, but let's just see. Well, this is the first boss fight that we could actually have uh, another person with us. Unless Fang gets knocked out. I don't remember. So that's the Holy Clavis. The magic box that'll bring together all the souls of the dead. A what? <laughs> of course it turns 13 once we get here. Maybe it's somehow motion. Feel that? It's like some kind of force pushing down on my chest. It's some kind of pressure There's or no motion sensing. It's definitely emitting powerful energy. No human could have made this, not without divine help. Hmm. Either that or the gods themselves made it. Hope, fill us in. What's happening? <sighs> it's the seculars. They're close. Oh, we had a fight an army. Fang, it looks like Secutors have already... Sorry about this, Vanille. Fang! <laughs> it's like, bitch, you crazy. What are you doing? This is what you've been looking for. I'm not letting anyone else have it. If Vanille uses this damn thing, she'll die. What do you mean? Damn this thing! It's a bloody curse! Yeah, purify the dead. Put them to their eternal rest. All it'll take is the life of a saint. Vanille is dead set on going through with it. She'll martyr herself to the past and then... <laughs> these guys you bastards want to take it from me <laughs> no I can't just break it that easily you have done an admirable job the sacred one will doubtless be pleased doubtless be pleased thank you <laughs> chaos bees oh ew, ew, ew. oh what they're not even coming for us that is I don't know what to expect, so... My dead body. so light, you wanna lend me a hand? <laughs> You're asking now. I could definitely escape and Let's do it, Fang. re uh set up my party or my, my way. thingy, so I don't have to spell. Uh, it's kind of weak though. Mari doing some damage. Swords. 
since I'm debraved right now or at that point. But they're pretty good damage. Not having these spells is just kind of bad. What's up? How's it going? Just like I'm very busy right now. That's kind of funny. I forget it's still Friday. But yeah, hopefully it's not too terrible. Uh, let me bravery actually. Where are we approaching? Uh, I think I just want bravery. So bravery. I'll probably overclock. I saw that it just cancelled out mine. It's like it. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good today. I'm just trying to finish. Oh, Jesus. I go two crazy now. Shadow plan. I don't like that. All these debuffs. Theos. I keep getting interrupted. Uh oh. That doo doo breath. Finish this fight, then we can get back to interacting with y'all. <laughs> yeah, it should be over right here. Yeah, nice. You live. That's good. One star. No. Yeah, I forgot that. Um, so when you get debuffed by something, if you cast the spell that's the opposite of the debuff, then it will just neutralize it. So that's why I didn't get the actual bravery buff, which I was hoping for. But oh, well, it's all good. We still beat it one try. And yeah, we're done. Nice. So yeah, that's actually our last main mission. Uh, all that's left is just doing side quests as much as I want. But I will try to refrain from doing too many of it. We're not getting through that way. The sooner you accept it, the better. What's the deal with the clavis? What does it really do? Uh, but yeah, I Doesn't it ease the dead suffering. I have like seven days <laughs> to like do side quests. Oh, it eases it all right. But see, they get Vanil to summon the souls from out of the chaos with the yeah. Clavis. I don't think I'm gonna then destroy them. No do more soul, no many more suffering. side quests, if any They're more just side quests. Them all? Does Vanille understand what she's doing? She knows it, just like she knows it'll kill her. And she just goes on saying she's got to do it. She says it's the only way to stop the cries she hears. The only way to save them. And you didn't want to let her die like that. So you tried to get the clavis yourself. Yeah. That was the plan. I was looking for it, all right. But not to give it to her. To keep it from her. I knew what would happen if the Order got it. Vanille would kill herself. For a lie! So I joined up the bandits here. And watched over the ruins. And as long as no one found it, I could leave well enough alone. Now you see why I came along with you? I had to make sure that the Savior wouldn't hand the Clavis over to the Order. I didn't even trust an old friend like you. Yeah. That's low. 
I even doubted your old pal Lightning, spying on her like she was gonna stab you in the back. But I guess it's not so different from the way I spied on you. I had to wait forever to tip those guys off. You? You're the one who led the Secutors to us? Exactly. And without hope even noticing a thing. Now the Order has their little clavis and they're beating a trail back to Luxarian. I can't wait to see that ceremony, can you? All those useless souls purified forever in return for Vanille's <laughs> life. Bruh. Even the soul that was once Sarah wiped away like it never existed. When does the ceremony take place? It'll happen on the last day of the world. When the final bells start to toll across the land, Vanille will face the clavis and begin the soul song. <sighs> <laughs> Oh yeah, now that I have pretty much finished all the main missions, uh, I can probably start using some of the DLC environments and Fang. weapons and armor. Going to die. Right, yeah. You never did mince words, and I can't save her. So, what's your point? I save souls by granting them what they wish for. If Vanil wishes for death with all her heart, then I have to let her have it. I have no choice. You're saying you'd let her die? Yes, if she doesn't change her mind. I can't do it for her. You are the only one who knows how she feels. The only one who can save her from her darkness. You gotta change her mind. Always have been. Change her mind. <laughs> yeah, well. and I, I put the mask on. Lightning, so <laughs> she's always at a masquerade ball. I get it. I get it, Vanille. You hear me? We're in this together until the very end. Very end. Ooh. All right. Nice. Give me some more stats. Like, honestly, I don't even know if the DLC weapons and armor even... If they're even good. The magic that was sealing the door is fading away now. You can try to chase them, but the clavis is halfway back to Luxarian now. Pizza here. Oh, I think this buffs magic. Let's see. It does not buff magic, it's just a very strong defense item. That's good for resisting magic, though. There's another one that resists physical damage. Maybe it's the ghostly head. Yeah. I just realized that's the difference between the two. I actually thought that they both resisted. Like, both. Yeah, one resists magic, the other one resists physical. Yeah, okay, keep that in mind. I don't think I'll really... I can fight any mega bosses in this run. So it's okay. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and grab a bunch of these DLC stuffs. Yeah, I'm not going to use them, probably. Yeah, these are not going to be that strong. I think those sh uh, shields might be good. But a lot of these other ones aren't that good. Like, that sucks. <laughs> might have been good, like, beginning of the game, but yeah, it's definitely not that good right now. Uh, this might be good, though. Elementa. Elementa level star. Probably good magic, but it doesn't buff our current magic stat. No, I guess I'll just grab them all. Just won't use them. Oh, well, if I want another one, I have to buy. I feel like this is a new garb. Like, it didn't have this back in the day. If I remember correctly. Proof of obtaining 30 different garbs. And all these weapons aren't going to be that good. Let's say it's... Sugar is brave in faith when you guard against enemy attacks for a certain. Ooh. That could be really good. Of course, I lose. No, I don't even lose. Yeah. That's really good. Wow. I didn't realize that's good. Cool. Egg slash 2. Slayer. Egg slash turning to Slayer. Ooh, Stagger Power. Stagger Power is good, just the actual strength and magic. Well, strength in this case. It's just very bad. Guard defense. Oh, this is just a lot of HP. 
Shogun Critical Region. That's a very basic strong finale. Strength of combo finale that lightning deals after a series of hits. Yeah, so probably the shields are the only thing I'm gonna really put on. Unless, again, the passive ability is that good, but I really doubt it. Sweet spot. Increase damage dealt to enemies when you strike a weakness. Yeah. Man, it's just not strong enough because the again, strength and magic is very low. Since magic damage. Sweet spot. Assess endless defense. Okay, we can stack these items and garbs and whatnot to create a ribbon effect where I am pretty much 100% resistant to all status ailments. Multiple targets, heal to you, yep, same thing. A lot of these are just the same but different colors. <laughs> Flower Battle. Yeah, these are definitely good at the beginning of the game, but not now. Fatal Sweep. Yeah, they even put a 2 meter <laughs> costume on. Again, I didn't know it at the time, but yeah, Square Enix didn't make the new 2 meter like re remastered, uh, well, remakes. Soul Survivor increases damage dealt to enemies when HP is 50 or lower. Increases damage dealt when HP is 15% or lower. Oof. So it's pretty scary. Right shield. Strengthens defense. It doesn't even gain or give you any extra HP. That's really bad. Cosmic Arts. That's a really cool outfit. I don't know what Cosmic Arts does. Uh, maximum HP. Ooh. What's this for? Reduces <laughs> strength by a lot. I guess it's good for magic. I'm just gonna spam a bunch of magic. So otherwise, it sucks. <laughs> this gate. Same thing. Oh, but this has a bunch of defense. Move all over magnets. Oh, probably like just puts everybody close together. Size EP store. Stores a little bit of EP when attacks are perfectly timed. That would actually be really good. That's actually a pretty good early game. Now that I think about it. You can just keep building up uh, EP. Oh, same with this. Maybe my next playthrough. <laughs> it's a Moogle hat. Uh. Ross Blitz. Sounds really cool. Excalibur, Persis. Yep. And all these are just good for early game, but... Not so good now. What is Aegis Sealed? Center of the Puppet Guards. Just some OG lightning looks. Arsenal 1. Wait. When do we learn Army of One? Increases damage resistance when guarding by 15%. So this is probably good coupled with a stronger guard, like heavy guard or something like that. Ooh. This is just good for buffing. Buffing strength and magic. But no achievement awards. Alright, so yep, we're done with this. Hey, we need to go back to the image here. Uh Wildlands to defeat the chaos infusion out there. Uh, let's do a little bit of story time, real quick. Everybody, Yun Fang. 
Hmm. Fang was an ally and friend who fought alongside Lightning a thousand years ago. Her passions run high and she is a fighter through and through. She is bound to Vanille, a young girl who lived in the same village. With bonds beyond those of family. Oh, yeah, with bonds beyond those of family. For Vanille's sake, uh, Fang would endure any pain without complaint. Uh, when she, and she tends to act rashly and dangerously when it is to keep Vanille safe. Lightning and the others were once forced to turn their blades on Fang, but in the end, she and Vanille brought about a miracle and atoned uh, for their past sins. To prevent Cocoon from falling out of the sky, the two heroes from Pulse became a great pillar of crystal, sleeping within for nearly a thousand years as they held the weight of humanity aloft. It has been 13 years now since Fang emerged from her crystal sleep. When they first awoke, both Vanille and Fang were cared for by the Order of Salvation. Now Fang stands alone as leader of the bandit gang Monoculus. It is unclear what uh, could have ever happened to tear her from Vanille's side. And now we know though. Saz is a skilled airship pilot who worked together with Lightning in order to save his only son Dodge from a cursed fate. His content com Companion is the small chocobo chick that likes to take shelter in his hair. Uh, he has succeeded in getting his son back safely, only to be drawn into a time paradox and lose Dodge again. In order to be reunited with his son, he gambled his fortune in a mysterious casino at the end of time. With Chocolina's help, he managed to find Dodge once more. 500 years have passed, and young Dodge has slept uh, them away in a comatose state. Saz searches desperately for the fragments of Dodge's soul to put in a special coffer he's been told his, uh, can save his son. But it seems as though his old smile might be lost forever. Caius Ballad, the man responsible for releasing the chaos from the Unseen Realm and inviting the world's destruction. Immortal since ancient times, Caius served the seeress Yule in her many incarnations. He vowed to save Yule from the cruel cycle of endless death and rebirth. Chaos's plotting led to the downfall of the goddess Etro and brought catastrophe. The unseen Chaos, released from Valhalla, now consumes the world. He was defeated in his confrontation with Noel, and he lost the heart uh, full of chaos, which had kept, kept him alive so long. He should have died then, and yet he appears once again. Are his crimes so great that even death will not take him? And you will, uh, she is a used uh, theorist. Who has visions of the future. She was reborn endlessly among the people known as the Farseers. All the incarnations of the Far or the Seeress have a limited lifespan. It is a price that they pay for the ability to see into the future. Soon after Yule dies, another is born with the same appearance and same abilities. There are countless girls who have carried the name Yule in the long history of the world. The majority of them have been protected by their immoral or mortal guardian, Kai's Ballad. Noel is also a descendant of the Farseers, and worked alongside Caius to help protect his Yule. Just before that Yule breathed her last, she saw a vision of herself reunited with Noel in a new world. A promise to Noel that they would meet again has supported him through his journey. Mog. When Lightning first found herself uh, stumbling through the unfamiliar world of Valhalla, Mog was the first friend she made. Later, uh, Lightning asked Mog to go help Sarah and Noel on their adventure. After the adventure, or after the adventure, it was unclear what had happened to Mog, but it appears that he was reunited with his fellow Moogles and named Chief of their village. He quickly picked up the name Mog, short for Moogle. This is because at the time when he was first called by this name, no one knew that there might be other Moogles in existence, uh, including Mog himself. Long ago, or once long ago, Mog challenged Lightning to battle, but he was defeated by three scissors in a row and quickly surrendered. <laughs> Uh, he is always looking for shortcuts to an easy life. Jeez, Odin. Odin, the Silver Eidolon, is Lightning's sworn ally. The Eidolons are powerful creatures from Valhalla, the realm of the goddess, and can only be called forth by a special lessee. Odin takes on two different forms, that of a great warrior whose blade can cleave through any foe, or a horse, which bears its sworn master aloft as it takes to the heavens. Lightning never knew what happened to Odin after she was defeated in Valhalla, but he was, in fact, reborn as the Angel of Valhalla. Oh, Bhakti. <laughs> it's a robot with very high-functioning AI. Such robots are often found amid the ruins of uh, ancient towns and settlements, and those that are in good conditions are retrofitted and put back into service as exploratory rovers. K-1 
capable of navigating the ruins of dead of the dead dunes. Video kept one such robot as a pet 1700 years ago in her first life. But that is a fate of Erba, uh, Vanille and Fang's home village from the days when the world was called Grand Pulse. The Guardian's Choice. The Unseed Chaos is made up of the Amagomade, Amagomated souls of the Yules who have been reborn in time. Those Yules shared the wish to see Caius once again, and that wish drew them together in a cancerous mass of hopes and dreams. The souls of the Yules are no more than a great concentration of chaos, unable to separate from one another any longer. If Chaos were to be reborn in the world, or a new world, those Yules would follow him there as well. And if they did, that world would soon be poisoned just as this one has been. Could it be that the reason Chaos ha or Caius has decided to stay behind is for the sake of the world that is to come? Or does he simply loathe to leave the Yules, who no longer have a physical form to return to? That's definitely a sad story for Caius. The Unseen Chaos. The Unseen Chaos is the darkness when dra or which dragged lightning into Valhalla. 500 years ago, the border between Valhalla and this world was broken up. The world was flooded by an ancient or ocean of chaos. When lightning came into contact with the Unseen Chaos, she touched a darkness that should never existed, or that should never exist in the human world. Etro had damned the Unseen Chaos in her temple, but when she died, there was no one left who could stop the catastrophe that later ensued. If the Unseen Chaos were to flood into the world again, it would threaten God's plans for humanity. It is said that a great chaos uh, lies within the Temple of the Goddess in the Wildlands. The parallels to the Unseen Chaos of Valhalla are too close for comfort. That's murals. Uh, Etro was a goddess created by Almighty Bunavelza. She was a foolish goddess who ha uh, held great affection for humanity. Etro gave all of herself for humanity's sake, until she sac sacrificed her own life and fell into the long sleep of death. Uh, Valhalla is the realm where human souls once returned before being re reborn anew. The wise god Linze used the blood that had spilled from Etro to create man's body. The soul was fashioned from the chaos. These wisps of chaos filled the vessels that Linze had made, and thus humanity was born. When a person died, uh, his soul returned to the chaos of Valhalla, the unseen realm where the goddess Etro ruled. Bunavilza is the god who rules all things. He holds the world within his grasp, bestowing favor on the pure and faithful. The souls that are strong enough to stay true until the final day will be reborn in the new world. The death that awaits them at the end of the world is a blessing, a gift from God. The weak souls that lose their faith will disappear into the unseen realm and wander forever in the endless sea of chaos. The death of those who have turned away from God will be an eternal curse. The Dead Dunes uh, the fringes of this desolate desert are lapped by the ocean of chaos. It is not a place meant for human in, uh, habitation, but thanks to the ancient ruins that are scattered among the dunes, many lawless bandits have come here to plunder the treasure within. In the desert, wild monsters are most attracted or active during daylight hours, unlike other parts of the world. Nights in the desert are blessed by relatively or by relative peace and quiet. Centuries of plundering have emptied most of the ruins, but one legendary treasure, the Holy Clavis, still sits beyond a seal that no one has been able to break until now. The Yagd Woods. In the lush Yagd Woods stands the village of a hunting band and their faithful chocobo steeds. The forest is thick with monsters who prefer to live in dark and shadowy places, and so it is the, man, uh, the band's main hunting ground. Rumors have it that a village of legendary creatures called Moogles lies somewhere deep in the forest. Some even claim to have seen the adorable creatures fluttering through the forest at night like stuffed toys with wings. Uh, the Temple of the Goddess and the Great Chaos. A cursed temple that stands in the north of the Wildlands, beneath which, it is said, lies the Great Chaos. The temple is not a thing of this world. It is an artifact which appeared from Valhalla the realm of the, un or the dead goddess Etro, when the chaos flooded through the gate, could it offer some further understanding of the destruction that afflicts the world? The angel of Valhalla is meant to carry the chosen one to the temple, and the goddess, that is what the legends say. Uh, yeah. 
Uh, Lightning heard a voice telling her as much uh, when she arrived here. It seems like too great of a coincidence to mean nothing. Uh, Coffer of Souls, a mysterious box, a gift to Saz from Lumina. Uh, seems infused with the power of chaos. Doctor's soul is fragmented and scattered across the world. If Lightning can collect all of the soul fragments and place them in the coffer, it should be possible to return Dodge's soul to his body. Then, perhaps, he will awake from the comatose state he has been in for so long. Saz has searched for the soul fragments throughout Nova Prasalia, but his failure to find even one has driven him to despair. The Lightning came along. Uh, the bandit gang Monoculus. Many gangs of bandits used to operate in the Dead Dunes plundering the treasures that once filled the ruins here. But now only the gang, known as Monoculus, survives. Based in the outlaw sentiment of Ruffian, they are the de facto government of the desert. The members of Monoculus are fiercely loyal to their leader and proud of the bonds that hold their group together. They see all of the ruins in the desert as part of their territory, and they watch diligently to make sure that the Holy Clavis is not stolen in the rush that follows the unsealing of the ruins. Holy Clavis. Uh, many, or this legendary relic is said to have been made by the gods themselves. It is used in rites to summon the souls of the dead. It is thought that the Clavis lies somewhere in the ruins of the dead dunes. The Banda gang Monoculus have had their sights set on it for many years. The order also shows a great deal of interest in the treasure, suggesting that it is no mere fairy tale, but a credible artifact from the past. Both groups have searched the, pa uh, the desert <laughs> for the Clavis, but have been stymied, or stemmied, uh, stemmied, by powerful seals that keep them out of certain ruins. The Soul Song. On the last day of the world, the Soul Song will be held in the Order's great cathedral to purify and put to rest the souls of the dead. This rite requires the Holy Clavis, which draws the souls of the dead to it. Only the, song, uh, the Soul Song can ease the suffering of the hundreds of millions who wander within the chaos, tormented eternally in the darkness, and only Benil. The saint who can hear their voices can perform it. The order must have both uh, to perform this final rite. Uh, characters? Nope, not those. But... All right. Uh, thing. Oh, something else. It's been real, Lightning. It's been real. Now it's time to go our separate ways. <laughs> Got it. Hey, next time I'm in the desert, you won't see me. The gang's officially disbanded. I've got somewhere else I need to yep, be. Going back to Luxarian. Sounds like we have a date in Luxarian. Yeah. Good luck, Fang. See you at the end of the world. I kind of understand why some of these other quests open up now that Fang's gone. They can't complete such a complicated ceremony on any day they choose. It'll have to be on a specific day, the final day. Oh, I was like, this bandit did. Just not that. Alright, uh, let's go to Ruffian Heal. Then we can teleport to the station and go back to the Wildlands. I'm gonna try to beat the Chocobo Eater. And hopefully, this time we don't die. <laughs> but we are a little bit stronger now, so we should be okay. I just gotta probably create a defense um, mode. Whatever. Defense. Wait till the fools get Darb. Oh, what's this one? Uh, let's heal first and then we can talk to that guy at the three star. Three star. Nachos. I kind of want some nachos. Not that guy. Alright, what you got? I know you. You're that new band that everyone's talking about, aren't you? Aren't well, you? I don't listen to rumors. Ooh, look at little Miss Antisocial. Well, <laughs> I'm Jameis, former bandit. Jameis. Sure, now I'm just a useless sponge soaked in booze. I drink a whole ocean of chaos if it drown my sorrows. <laughs> I've been away from the desert for a while now, but I came right back when I heard about you, girly. Girly. And what do I have to do with anything? Sit back and let me tell you the tale about my days as a greedy bandit. I do <laughs> I say greedy I bastard. Clean and then go right back out for more. Even someone like me had a family. We may not have been related by blood, but my kids love me like I was the greatest. 
But 156 years ago on a day I can't forget. A day I don't want to remember! Then don't. No one's asking you to. Hold on, please. I've come all this way. At least hear me out. That day I had taken the kids with me to the ruins. It was just a regular day of exploration. Until those damn skeletons appeared. There wasn't time to get the kids away. The only ones who survived. Was you. So you've been blaming yourself and plotting your vengeance? Is that it? <laughs> you overestimate a drunk like me. You think a washed up loser like me has the guts to seek vengeance? I just turned tail and ran away straight into a bottle. All I could do was hate those skeletons from afar. But you came back to the desert now. All because you heard about me joining the gang? I did. You managed to open the seals that no one else has been able to do a thing about. When I heard that, I knew that if anyone could help me, it was you. So I came back. I've got to ask you a favor. I know you don't owe me a thing, but you're the only one I can ask. I'll get down and beg you. Just please, please, destroy every last one of those skeleton bastards. I did. Wipe them off the face of the <laughs> I did. I'll never rest easy until I know that they're <laughs> Jesus, guys. You couldn't save the children, uh. but you think this might help. I know it's too much to ask a stranger. I can't give you much in return, but... What? Anyways. Never mind that. It won't be easy though. You'd better be ready for a wait. I'll repay you somehow for this. I'll wait however long it takes. It'll be nothing compared to the past 156 years. <laughs> That's a long time. Uh, I finished it already, so I can just turn it in. Galvin's in the closet. The revenge you always wanted is complete. I just. You did it! You... Do you feel better now? Yes, I suppose I do, but it's still not the same as having my kids back with me. That's the way revenge goes. Yep. Yeah, you're probably right, but at least it saved me from pickling myself. Pickling myself? You're done grieving. Oh, but with the alcohol. Stop grieving. But I feel like I'm gonna go visit their grave. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Alright, good thing I talked to him. I'm like, I don't really want to do any more quests, but if you're going to give me stats, then yeah, I'll do them. If it's like very easy. Everyone's happy. Morning, morning. My father is fit. Do you think there's... You tried the Cactar Tequila? Cactar Tequila? Thank you. Oh yeah. Yes. Awesome. Only the four of us. Excuse me. Oh, I had I didn't find any more chaos seeds. Uh, let me actually level up some stuff. Level boost. Actually, I don't know how many silver mails these cost. <laughs> so hopefully, I'm not wasting wasting extra. Defense is nice. Need to be careful not to waste much here. So I could put all these to level two and then use them. Oops. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be careful not to waste. Oh, this is wrong. I'm like, <laughs> I'm thinking a little too hard on that one. Yeah, I'm playing a bronze. Got something silver there. Man. Well, it's actually that a lot of these will actually be obsolete anyways over time. Because, again, towards the end. Of days, um, the level that gets dropped increases significantly. 
This way, steel guards somewhat better. Oh, many guard has a. Oh, it's only barely better. Okay. Should be using this. Oh, I realize I have a level three D protect already. Get all these. It's crazy. Oh, I'm running out of money. Sure, right, let's stop. <laughs> Get overzealous with this. Thank you very much. You want me to approve? Oh, crystal. Wow, you did it. Come back. Well, if crystal's better than platinum. Probably not. Go on. Oh yeah, of course not. What am I talking about? <laughs> it's as if I never got him before. See you. It's dead doom time. Or uh, station time. Go to Wildlands, try to beat the Jungle Ball Eater. It's probably a good place to stop. I should probably try to wrap up the easy quests. I came here about a hundred. All the easy quest lines. Oh what? I didn't mean to look at that. Here comes another train. Here comes another train. Oh, extra golden boxes. If you want to go to Luxarian Sound Station or the Wildland, oh, I didn't get it. Um, kill enough cats. I thought I'd go visit all. My I'm using. Are you taking taking the trains? Mm, hopefully, it's gonna be an easy fight. Uh, let me double check the chocolate eaters' weaknesses and whatnot. Right, fighting again. Just so chaotic here right now. Get along. Alright, uh, I guess wind is still the thing to use. Yeah, it's pretty much the same setup, there's really no change. Question is, should I? Should do. <laughs> it's funny, it's like it's pretty much the same 
thing, but... Oh yeah, should I put this for the other one? This one. There's no guarding, pretty much, but I guess I shouldn't try to guard using that one. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't worry about blocking so much with the first. This one actually has a fast ATB recharge rate, so this. Maybe these two should be. Just... Yeah, I shouldn't worry about. What's the guard level? 50? Maybe I should keep this with the. Maybe steel guard. Wish I had another heavy guard, that would have been good. I wanna see. Where's the regular guard? A well, steel guard's better than regular guard, right? 28. No, regular guard's better. Uh, do I really want Mediguard? I think I should just use potions if I really need a heal. I do technically have. Who's his face? Um, Chocobo. Pickle bro. I should get this spell instead of the shell. I'm not gonna worry about the shelling. I'll do dispel instead. Um I don't have enough. Wonder gel. Oh, the wonder gel is the who's monsters. Right, Chocobos, do it. See, so yeah, after I beat the Chocobo Eater, we will just stop there. I'm assuming I can beat it. Oh, that's a big boy. He just like fell down. Um, yeah, when we come back, I will try to wrap up any quests we have left. I think the ones, the other ones we have left that I haven't even discovered or whatever, aren't really worth dealing with, most likely. It's probably not enough stat gain to really make it worth spending time on it. So I think at most I can probably get like 50. That's maybe not even. But we'll see. Together we can do this. Maybe magic was what I should have been doing. For that bravery. Wait, how long do I have to guard? To activate. Jeez. What the hell's right? 
Uh, let me restart this fight. Mm, let me think. Maybe magic is the way to go, since he hits D-Shell, like, badly? Badly. I guess I'll just use fire. Maybe I just instead of heavy regard three, I'll just have D shell as well. Yeah, just try not to block with that one. I guess. I think, but heavy guard on this one. Triggers Brave and Faith when you guard against enemy attacks for a certain length of time. So I wonder if I actually have to like block the attacks, or can I just sit there and block? So I wait and see. Oh wow, that whiff. I need to drink that during the... Let me see... I don't block on that one.
Oh, I didn't die. Nice. Chill. Yeah, got it. Uh, definitely hard, but got it. Uh, I think the earthy there might be better than that fight. He's dead now. Not the Choco Bros. Forgive me. I couldn't do it. I couldn't save your friends. <laughs> I can do this. Let me pray for them. It's no substitute for salvation. But at the very least, perhaps I can give them peace. It sounds good to me. So now you can have my soul. We have the Chocoboro souls. You have to know. I am powerless. I couldn't save all the souls who yearned for salvation. With each failure, I grew more despondent. But even in my despair, I kept fighting. The bond we had, it transcended centuries. No matter how much we changed, I always felt your strength. Even in my darkest hours, you made me strong. Yeah, cool. Ooh, got a Odin sword, baby. Heck yeah. Perfect. Oh, my HP is at 9999. Oh. Do this real quick and then that will head on out. That's chaosy. A lot of chaos seeds. I guess they should give me a lot for a terrible play. Eat something. It is veggie meal. I'm gonna buy stuff. What did I just use? Get two high potions. Uh, let's get three high potions. Eventually, I'll use the nectar of the gods when I go to do that one, the slaughterhouse. I just want to see the new weapon we just got. I can probably go back to Andy Guard for now. Oh. Switch back to DJ. 
Sea Shell, I guess. Honestly, it probably doesn't matter anymore. I'm pretty strong, but it definitely helps. Alright, let's see what Odin's weapon gives us. I got way too many weapons now. Uh, this thing. Uh, it's good for... What is it good for? It's just strong. It's just strong. It's just fast. But there's like no stagger power behind it. This weapon sucks. <laughs> it's good for magic, I guess. Even then the magic's not as strong. Yeah, it's just good for ATB purposes. Um, I'll think about it, but I don't think I'll use it anytime soon. Alright. Well, guys. Go ahead and save and end it here. And then later tonight, I'll come back and we will finish out this game, finally. But till then, I'll see you guys later.